What's up, y'all? Had a thought, and I want to just uh, bring this and say this publicly. Um, hey, everybody, hope all is well. Um, listen, I know a lot of y'all are probably in your feelings. Y'all not really don't care. Uh, but I just want to make this plain. Listen, do y'all not know in the Constitution, share the live. Just make sure y'all share this live. Share this live now. Cause I'm trying, I'm trying to help y'all while everybody in your feelings, hear me. While y'all trying to be sneaky, while y'all, <laughs> Maurice. <laughs> hey, Bonita. Hey, Christy, Christy, what's up? Listen, while y'all playing, if Bishop, see, Bishop Thuston has the most powerful position in this church. If y'all don't act right, <laughs> if y'all don't act right, this Negro can say, you know what? Scratch the entire election. I'm going to be the provide, presiding bishop until further notice. Think I'm playing. Think I'm playing about it. Think I'm playing. Needs. Here what I'm trying to tell y'all. Y'all, this, this is not, this ain't no, like, we joking. This ain't no... Uh, like hypothetically, uh, th thank you, Maurice. Thank you. If y'all don't read, the I wear my black book at Lord, where my black book? Where my black book? Lord, let me go find my black book. If y'all don't read the Constitution, if this man says, you know what, we're gonna cancel this. Hey, hey, what's up, y'all? We're going to cancel this, and we're going to try this another time. Bishop Thuston has every right. Bishop Thuston has every right. Y'all don't like this. Bishop Thuston has every right, if he so choose, to say, I'm going to be the presiding bishop. Y'all think it's a game? So, so for the simple fact, that Bishop Thuston is out here talking about, oh, this is a cyber attack. No, niece, no. No, this ain't no cyber attack. This is prolonging. This is prolonging the inevitable. This is prolonging, but babe, we never, and I mean never had no stuff like this. Oh yeah, Maurice, absolutely. Absolutely. If Thuston say, you know what, all the votes can go to Bishop Daniels. If Bishop Thuston don't like it, he could cancel it and say, you know what, I'm gonna be the interim bishop. If 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 Sheard pissed Thuston off, he could cancel it and say, you know what, I'm gonna be the interim bishop and we're gonna do this all over again. So you mean to tell me? You mean to tell me that y'all couldn't have got this stuff together on the other day and fixed the elections? Because first of all, in a national election, it takes all day. All night, all day. Angels watching over me, my Lord. All night, all day. Angels watching over me, my Lord. Absolutely. In a national regular election, you're not given two hours. I don't know what makes them think. I don't know what made them thought that an election was going to happen in two hours. That was strike one. Oh, yeah, it's going to cause some friction. It's going to cause some friction. It's going to cause some friction. Let me tell you something. It don't matter if Drew win. Okay, get in here. It don't matter if Drew win. It don't matter if, 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 if Daniels win. It's going to be a problem. And I'm going to tell you something. Bishop Thuston wants to be the presiding bishop. Y'all don't hear me. Bishop Thuston, what Helen said, 
Bishop Thurston wants to be the presiding bishop. Period. He, I'm telling you, he going along with everything. He want to be the presiding bishop. And then uh, somebody told me, oh, Mario, you need to just be positive. Be positive. Let me tell you something. I'm going to be positive. I'm going to be positive for the fact that this is the foolishness that's going on. I'm, I'm, I'm positive at the fact that this is the foolishness that's going on in this here, this here church. Uh, Dante, now, I really don't know. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know what these things going to do because, you know, some of these people are so start Kojic, you know what I'm saying? They're going to stick right here regardless, but what they're going to split and go to? What they going to split and go to? What, what they going to split and go to? I hear you, Robert. What they going to split and go to? See, see y'all y'all don't y'all don't hear me. Y'all don't hear me. See, Bishop Sims didn't want him at his funeral. Y'all, 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 I got a question. How did Bishop Thuson become the chairman of the board? Maurice, you, you want to do a round table? <laughs> you want to do a round? Go get some more peoples. Go get some more peoples and we can just do this all. Listen, I got time today. It's Friday. Friday, Friday, Friday. It's Friday. I got time today. First of all, like I said, how did Bishop Thusa become the chairman of the board uh, of, of the, uh, of the uh, uh, General Assembly? How? I, I got a question. I got a question. How did Bishop Thurston become the chairman of the board of, of uh, um, the board of uh, the, 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 the general assembly? How? How did Bishop Thurston become the chairman of the general assembly? I want to know that. Was he already the second chair? Because I find it funny that he's slick. He's slick is opposing Bishop Blake in his decisions. Oh, you said, oh, see? You said, but hold on, hold on, hold on, Maurice. You said we voted him after Bishop Hunt died. I was there after the Earl Carter, after, after the Earl Carter called to Hunt killed him. What? So, y'all voted Bishop Thurston in. Y'all voted Bishop Thurston. Okay, Sha Shakita said we voted him in. Okay, so y'all, what qualified him to be the chairman of the General Assembly? Because his behavior ain't new. His behavior, his behavior, his behavior is nothing new. Okay, his. You said invite me on a two minute, Maurice. Make sure you got your stuff together. Okay, make sure you got your earpieces and things together. Y'all know how this. You know how the things get when you come on and your earpieces and stuff ain't right. I'm serious, y'all. I'm being I'm being so dead serious. I'm being so dead freaking serious right now. Like, if y'all don't, if y'all, I promise y'all, see what I tell you. See, see what I tell you. Y'all mark my words. Mark my words. Mark my words. There is no reason. And Bishop Porter noticed, Bishop Shear noticed, Bishop Daniels noticed. All of y'all, y'all notice. Anybody who is Church of God in Christ and been in Church of God in Christ any length of time, any, anybody born in this church, all this other stuff like y'all know 
what I'm saying to be true. Watch what I tell you. Watch. Watch what I tell you. Watch what I tell you. Bishop, Bishop uh, Thurston, he going to call it off. He going to say, I'm the interim bishop. And we going to vote next year. I saw a post. I saw a post. Uh, somebody screenshotted me and said a post. Um, sent me a post of this morning. Said, we don't need to do no more Zooms or anything like that until we get this thing together. We need to get it done today. I saw that post. I saw that post from Bishop Thuston. I mean, from Bishop uh, Porter. I saw that, but I keep telling y'all. I keep telling y'all. Thuston, I'm telling you, Thuston, Thuston. Mm -hmm. Th I'm telling y'all, keep on playing. Keep on playing. Thuston is going to change his mind. And he's going to say, I'm the interim bishop. Now, those of you all who don't believe me, go and research. Matter of fact, go and look in your black books, your black handbooks. I got mine in this room somewhere. Go look in your black books, and it says it right there in the Constitution. Bishop Thurston, outside of the presiding bishop, is the most powerful man in this church. Maurice. I'm playing. The most powerful, powerless man in this church. He can make some decisions without even talking to y'all. Period. Maurice. I'm ready for this conversation because I'm tired. I mean, like, did I did I lie anywhere? You have not lied about anything concerning the constitution of the church. And if we will stop running for campaign promises and slogans and read the rules of the constitution read the laws the bylaws and everything you will know the power of the chairman of the general assembly Absolutely. when bishop hunt when bishop hunt after jail patterson died elder james hunt became the chairman we voted for him when right. Henry bishop blake had some indifferences they threw a gold chain on bishop on Elder Hunt to keep him and Bishop Blake from going back and forth. I was there. This is not hearsay. Bishop Hunt used to fight for the for the people of the General Assembly. Mm -hmm. When we elected Bishop Thurston to fill Bishop Hunt's vacancy as vice chairman, then he became the vice chairman. When Bishop Hunt died, we unanimously accepted Bishop Thurston as the chairman. Then the final April, we voted for him because he filled out the term of Bishop Hunt. We voted for him in April, and then we voted for Bishop Maynard as vice chair. So but wait, the power of the chairman of the General Assembly. You said we voted for Bishop Maynard as the vice chairman, right? Right. Wasn't Bishop Maynard, Maynard the one who tried to have Bishop... Um, Bishop G.E. Patterson's wife kicked out of the church? Huh? Well, I, I don't get into that. I don't, I don't, I haven't gotten into that because I, I talked to Lady Lou and, you know, I talked to Lady Patterson. So I, I you know, I talked to I, I stay out of that part because they both my friends. Lady Lou is my friend and so is Bishop Maynard. So I never got into that. Well, I'm not friends with Bishop Maynard. I, so, uh, but listen, uh, listen, okay. here's the power. Here's what people don't realize the power of the general of the chairman of the General Assembly is this. When we are in session, the presiding bishop is just a member of the General Assembly. He has to res he has to respect and he has to respect and honor Bishop Thurston as chairman. He can't just get there and say, I'm the presiding bishop. No, he has to come to the mic just like any other delegate, me as an elder, another bishop, he has to come to the mic unless it's a part of the presiding bishop's agenda, uh, a presiding bishop and general board's report. You got to know the power of the general. So that's the most powerful position, because everybody <laughs> is subject to the chairman of the general assembly when we are in. The, when the vacancy of the election is, Chairman Thurston is officially the presiding bishop until we e reelect or elect a presiding bishop. And y'all better be careful, because the general board is meeting the day at twelve o'clock per general board member order. We would we shouldn't even be know the general. We shouldn't even be knowing the general board meeting. It used to be a time we didn't know when the general board met. 
but now we see pictures of the gentle boy beating. Well, I mean, it's social media. Yeah. And you know, you know, Brandon Porter do what he want to do. Right. But I feel, I feel that, I feel that, uh, somebody said, why don't they train young leaders? Let me tell you something. Who's that? Perry Smith. <laughs> The young leaders they train and all they train them to do is preach and prophesy and raise offerings. That's all they train them to do. They want to keep these old men there. They don't want young blood in there. They don't want young blood in there because it takes away from them. I don't know how long Elder Giles, I don't know how long you've been an elder, but I've been an elder since 2003. Yeah, Very long. Huh? 2008. Okay. I've been an elder since 2003 at 19 years old. So, so I look at it like this. I started booting in 96. I started voting in 96. Y'all hear me now? I started voting in 96. When that one vote supposedly kept Bishop Owens in office. But mm -hmm. the rules say you have to have a 50 plus 1%. Mm -hmm. But one vote kept Bishop Owens in office. But you have to have a 51, 50 plus 1%. But the one vote, and I love Bishop Owens. I supported Bishop Owens. I ain't gonna lie, I'm like Bishop Green said in that video. I didn't vote for Bishop Patterson in 2000, I voted for Bishop Owens. But in 2004, I voted for Bishop Patterson. I didn't vote for Bishop Blake in 2007. I supported Bishop Owens in 2007 when we held a special election in Mason Temple, I mean, in Temple of Deliverance. But in 2008, I supported Bishop Blake. 2012, I supported Bishop Blake. 2016, I supported Bishop Blake for presiding bishop. Now had, now had my candidate of choice for now would have ran last election in 16 against Bishop Blake, I would have supported my candidacy of choice. Mm -hmm. But I know this, I've seen it. And, and, and that's why people can talk what they want to talk. But my phone that I'm on now, it has text messages and calls of various leaders, bishops in our church, who call me to see what have I heard, what's going on. Why this election flop? I don't well, know. Number one, are, I've been in the General Assembly. We've never had over 5,000. And, and probably 5,300 delegates at the most, maybe 5,500 delegates at the most. How did we come up with 8,000 delegates just off of, off of, uh, uh, what's up, Robert Enoch? How did we come up with 8,000 delegates all of a sudden just because it's supposed to be virtual? And then they talk about the, I wrote how many delegates I wrote it down. My wife, my wife going to kill me because I wrote it on the envelope she needed, but I wrote it down. They said we had at first it was two th three thousand. I mean, they said at first it was uh, four thousand three hundred twenty. Then it jumped up within twenty minutes to six thousand three hundred and forty-seven votes. So whoever would have ran for presiding bishop would have needed three thousand one hundred seventy-four, three thousand one hundred and seventy-four point five votes to have a fifty plus one margin to win the election. Tuesday for PB, and we didn't even get to the PB election. So, I, this is what I'm still trying to get to. How many delegates do we have for real? Because, you know, it, it doesn't make any sense because if they said there were 6,000 people that voted, they were able to vote at least. I said they were able to vote. Right. So then how many other people we're trying to vote now. They say, now I don't. You know what? What's killing me is I'm trying to figure out how many people do we have in this church for real, for real. Well, I'm like this before. They say we're in the millions, but the money don't reflect the millions. <laughs> Bishop Lewis, and before you say that all the time, come on. Now. Uh, you say they say we got eight, four, five, five, five million members. Well, where the money at? If you got eight point five million members and we only have fifty to to 40 to 50,000 delegates at a convocation, that's a big margin of delegates. That's a big margin of people coming to meet. And that's including I'm, I'm saying, like, let's not, let's not make numbers of 
to make us sound big if we only got a million One little people, if we only got a million people in this church we only got a million people but we always trying to outdo somebody else for what because we're the largest black pentecostal church in america and the fifth largest in the world i'm over it i'm over it. just go you know what deuce and go deuce and gonna rig this thing up and he gonna be the bishop. And then next thing you know, we're gonna see some real gangsters out here for real, cause they don't get to fighting and, and, and tell each other to pull up and can't you know, I you know, it is what it is. You and know? since somebody brought up about and since somebody brought up about the situation with Bishop Deucing and Bishop Sims, you know, let's bring clarity to that too. Although I found it to be funny. I found it to be funny because I've never seen that done ever in my life. Very funny. funny. But you have to know the history between Bishop Sims and Bishop Pooster to know why that happened. I'm married, and Jives is not married, but I'm not going to let him, uh, I'm not going to let, if Jives was married and, 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 and him and my wife have a disagreement, me being my wife's husband, I'm going to defend my wife. I don't care what you say. But anyway, at a national homegoing, it doesn't matter what the family say or want in the Church of God in Christ. At the national service, that's completely off limits. They just there to mourn, get the gold chain and ring, and pay out the checks to the Pregada Bishop and General Board and all the folks that come with them, adjutants and security. Okay? So y'all got to understand that. So Bishop Thusen was in his rights to talk because he was the chairman of the General Assembly, and that was just But his remarks was, I had intended. See, he, he put himself in a predicament because he knew what was going on. Because he said, I had intended to, to pass the mic out. over to Bishop Lyles, but he was unable to come. Then he said, Bishop Maynard. Well, I sit there and look, you had several bishops up there that you could have asked to speak on, your on the General Assembly's behalf. Because I know when they had funerals in Chicago, they had a bishop funeral the other day in Chicago. Bishop Tucson wasn't here. Neither was Bishop Blake. Neither was Bishop Shear, but they had representation. Neither was Mother Lewis. Bishop Walls did come because that was his predecessor. Bishop Daniels came because he's two hours away. He's the closest general board member. He's been to everybody's funeral. Yeah, because he ain't worried about COVID. Because he got money to protect him. He's right. Sick, he gonna go to the doctor. He's going right to Walter Reed with President Trump, man. And that's what, that's what people, that's what I've been saying all this time, Maurice. The reason why I said Daniels is because I'm looking at the fact that this man has done all of this in his church, in his jurisdiction. Schools, mm -hmm. educational system, you know, trying to do all this stuff. And we differ, and we differ on things. I'm just, I'm just, like Bishop Hill said to me. You're a shared man. You're a shared man. No, no, not, not just that, but just like Bishop Hill said to me, when I called him to tell him, because I had some issues with Bishop Hill, and I called him to resolve those before, when, he, when, when I found out he was running for the board again, you know, he said to me, I said, Bishop Hill, I'm, I'm supporting you 100% for general board. He said, I appreciate you, Clark. He said, unlike some of these other guys, you're not wishy-washy. You're going to tell it like it is, and you're going to tell us if you support us or not. I have always been a sheer person because when someone tried to assassinate my ministry and talked about me to Bishop Shear, when he allowed me to preach for him, Bishop Shear informed me of who said what and, and, and defended me and still preached me. Because they tried to really assassinate me. Mm -hmm. But he still allowed me to minister. So I've always, that's one reason why, because I know he has my back. Bishop Daniels is a good guy. I've preached and been with all of them. I've seen seven, eight with all of them. I have Daniels. I was supporting Bishop Shear because my word was out there that I was supporting Bishop Shear even four years ago. Right. I said that to Bishop Porter. I, I could say that to Bishop Macklin if I communicate with him. You know, I'll say that to Bishop Hines if he decides to throw his name in the ring. I'll say that to Bishop uh, Lucian, if he's a supporter of, 
if you've been a supporter of them all this time, like, I wouldn't expect you to change, you know what I'm saying? Because that's that's what you decided to vote. I mean, support. You've been a sheer and supporter. And that's the same thing with Gary Sprewell. Gary Sprewell is a supporter of sheer. He's been that right. way for all the time. And I wouldn't expect him to change. Right. And here's the thing. Here's the thing. If my if our friendship is based on who we support and who we vote for, and we lose friendship over that, then we were never friends in the beginning. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I'll never forget it hurt me, brought tears to my eyes when 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 we sat there and Bishop Patterson made those comments about the friendship was over. You remember that brought a lot of tension. But they resolved it. Mm -hmm. Because number one, you can't have two heads in the house. We had two heads in the house. You had a present scene and you had a foreman who felt mm -hmm. like, hey, you should come to me, ask me for some advice. Look at the accomplishments of our, our present administration. Because Bishop Blake is the, that's why I didn't put no post up about, hey, farewell, Bishop Blake, enjoy your retirement. Because we all look like cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs posting up. See you later. Now he's still a PB on Tuesday. So, but look at the accomplishment. He has, he has brought I, I, this. This is my situation with Bishop Blake. And I, I appreciate Bishop Blake <laughs> for his tenure. But my thing is, you know, we're too busy fighting over stupid stuff. But you got uneducated people who are in office people who have degrees but don't do nothing you got people and i'm like we're we're a very we're a big storefront church but we have a school why aren't we implementing these things like i, I just feel like a lot of stuff that's going on in this church it's like the constitution is not ex executed right people are not being held accountable for their actions we're so worried about a woman being in leadership and i'm like this is all stupid and then on top of that it's like we could be doing things that could bring money into the church, but we're not even trying to even work with that stuff. Like a school, that would bring money into the church. Memphis could have had a- uh, well, Let me uh, tell you something, guys. I'm gonna tell you, I'm not gonna say the candidate's name, but I want you to do your research and make, you can call me and I'll tell you privately. I'm not gonna say the candidate's name, but one of the candidates who's running for presiding bishop, along with the pastors and elders four years ago, started a pastoral care fund to help pastors like myself, who just started out, to help build, to help preachers get builders, to help churches do what they needed to do. They had a conference here in Chicago. The Passing Elders Conference was here in Chicago. They raised over, over $100,000 in one night to help small churches who are just to start from the national level. This was implemented by a general board member who's running for PB. And I'll tell you who that is privately. But no pastor have seen that money. It has not even been mentioned. You probably didn't even know that until I just said something. A lot of pastors did not even know about it that was not at the conference. They even tried to embarrass two members, two bishops who were running for general board who would not give $1,000 because the bishop said they felt that wasn't the time to do that because it was during campaign season. And they, you know, they felt like that wasn't the time to do it because you're putting people on the spot. But we, we're not going to talk about that. But it happened. So I want to know, and I've questioned it, even at the election, the last election, where is the money? They could not give an answer. Pocket. In their pockets? But yet I see national officials still traveling to funerals. I still see national finish officials uh, driving new cars. I see national officials wearing tailor-made suits. But what about these pastors who are paying their national reports, these reports to the jurisdiction, which are becoming outrageous, who have the mentality, I have to take care of the house of God and not my own house. We keep talking about bishops need retirement plans. We need a we need an age limitation on on on, on servitude. I appreciate Bishop Herbert Williams. I appreciate Bishop Ernest Morris, who gave up his local church to Bishop J. Lewis Felton. 
And look at it, it's still thriving. Look at what Bishop Herbert Williams did for North Michigan, North Central Michigan. Bishop Shear was able to grow the jurisdiction rather than to be dissolved. Who else? But see, this, this, this is what I'm saying. Like, I, I appreciate Bishop Shear. I appreciate Bishop Daniels. But, you know, and I'm, I'm going to say this, and that was my pastor. As far as Bishop Porter goes, I'm like, sir, you're right there in Memphis. What you could have well, done. I have my man. I'm going to be quiet with him. You, you could be quiet. I'm going to say it. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all the time that I was at Bishop Porter's church, I'm saying like this. Y'all have all these requirements to even be uh, elders or whatever, but I'm like, these people get up in there, no education, no formal training. I remember I was in Minnesota. Before my license was getting transferred, it's like you got old people that want to become elders. Didn't graduate third grade. You making them elders, but they ain't got, they can't even preach, don't even know. Where's the lotion money at? Where's the lotion money at? The lotion money. The Kojic lotion. Whatever happened to that money? <laughs> look, look, look. St. Center, somebody said something. Listen, that was my godfather's vision. St. Center was Bishop Ford's vision. They came in and just demolished it. Thank God for Bishop Vincent Matthews. Thank God wait, for Bishop wait, Vincent Matthews. Wait, wait, wait. Not only was that, but the, it was it was Bishop Moody, because Serena, uh, Sadira King, we was talking, we was at uh, Saint Center. We was at Mason Temple talking about this. Uh, uh, Bishop Moody, Bishop Ford, uh, uh, and, and G. E. All of these folks want to do all of this stuff, but then it's it's downplayed. Right, it's Bishop downplayed. Ford. That was Bishop Ford. Let me tell you something. Even though I was a teenager, a young boy teenager, that was my godfather. I I used to be with Bishop Ford, Bishop Robert Sanders, Benjamin Bowman. I used to be with them at St. Paul here in Chicago. Huh? What is Kojic you Lotion? The, you remember the Kojic Lotion? The yellow bottle with the plain hands saying Kojic. Oh my God. I'm telling you. forgot you. about that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How much was that? Was something I ain't going to lie to you. That stuff was better than Vaseline. That stuff was, was better than cocoa butter. It was an anointing in that lotion. Mother, mother, <laughs> listen, let, let me tell you something. Mother, mother, uh, who's the mother that died? Oh, Jesus. She just slipped my mind as oh, much as I watch her video God. with Mother Kelly. <laughs> Who was the mother with Mother Kelly? I can't rebuke death. Uh, mother Shaw prayed over that lotion. Shaw, yeah. Mother Shaw prayed over that lotion, I believe. Because that lotion has some anointing. You can lay hands on your, you can put that lotion on and it instantly come back. <laughs> Somebody said that was mm -hmm. Bishop Porter's sermon. But okay, back to Bishop Porter. Now, you ain't got to say nothing on this one. I'm going to say something. Mm -hmm. Here's my thing. I did, Porter, I'm just not going to say no names because I know it could be held against me in the corner. I, I know it would be held against me in the corner of me. But I'm not an itinerary preacher no more. I'm pastor the church now. So, uh, you know. But wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me, let, me <laughs> let me say this. What's funny to me is Bishop Porter is right in Memphis. I ain't got no I ain't got no beef for anything with Bishop Porter. But Bishop Porter is right in Memphis. Bishop Porter could be known for doing some exponential things in this church. Bishop Porter's so worried about trying to be the bishop. But Bishop Porter could have made sure All Saints College became a HBCU. There are so many vacant and abandoned schools in Memphis. He could have put a plan in play to make sure Kojic had some schools in Memphis. Like, this is something to get, get back into the community to make a stick. Man, you could have, man, this could have been Bishop Porter High School or Porter High School. Porter High School, mm -hmm. elementary, middle school, high school, and we could have did All Saints College. You could have did all of that what right happened? there in Memphis. I'm trying, to figure out, I'm trying to figure out what happened to the Coach Hilton that we were supposed to build under Bishop Patterson administration. Oh, that he man. assigned Bishop Wells. Oh, man. We sold the Chiska Hotel, which was a gift to the church. And now, I, be, I was and just in Memphis. Sold it. Right. I was in Memphis not too long ago, and we rolled past the Chiska. And I'm looking like, oh, my God, this joker is beautiful. It we could have had that. Beautiful. But here I again, mean, beautiful. here again, we have men who have, and I, and I, like I said, I, I honor them for their office.
But as leaders, I feel that all of them should have followed Bishop Blake home. Because see, how is Wes Anders, I, let me go off the record, I, even though we're on Facebook Live, I really believe Wes Anders is going to be called Wes Anders Church of Los Angeles after this administration is up. Of Los Angeles? <laughs> it won't be Wes Anders. I just feel like that because we've never had a presiding bishop that, that stepped off the general board too, you know. You tell me, you know, excluding O.T. Jones who was removed from the general board, from the commission, but O.T. Jones Sr. So I feel that West Angeles Church in Los Angeles is finna rise up. Uh, <laughs> well, you know, he's building a um, family life uh, center. A family life center. I think because, you know, when he, He's retiring. He's gonna be bishop of bishop. Hold on, of hold on. Perry Smith, don't get discouraged. We just talking about what what most people won't talk about is the issues, but we're not blasting any leadership. So no, we're not. Uh, come on, come on to the Church of God in Christ if you want to. You come on. Every every place you go to is gonna have a flaws. Absolutely, so. and that's the thing because some uh, somebody I ain't gonna say their name, but inbox me talking about we shouldn't be making this stuff public we should have this stuff private first of all well candidates candidates who run for office made it public they made all they this stuff public i mean they i just happen letter. to be one of the ones who talk about this stuff publicly i put up some stuff but my wife made me take it down <laughs> i put up ghost master mike all right y'all i'm sorry my phone died oh okay my phone died so listen we're back we are back. Okay, we're back, y'all. Hey, tell Maurice to come on. Tell Maurice to come on. Tell Maurice to come on. We're going to give some facts today. Um, I know Bishop Thuston and all these other people are... Supp oh, dang it. Are supposed to be coming on today, but let's... Let's bring some clarity to some things, okay? Let's bring some clarity to some things before we get ready to jump on. Um, because I'm telling y'all, okay, there we go. Hey, y'all, hey, 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 hey. Maurice, you're, okay. I'm sorry, I'm bringing you. Wait, did you send it to me? Maurice, I'm trying to add. Maurice, send the thing. All right, y'all, my phone had died. So, y'all, we not talking about that right now. We not talking about that right now. I don't care nothing about no R. Kelly and not J. Cole, 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 J, whatever. I, I'm not trying to be rude. I, I apologize if it does sound like I'm being rude. Um, okay. But. What's up, Kyrie? I know. I, listen, Daniel, I'm telling you, I'm walking around here and phone be about to die. I need to plug it up. Anyways, y'all, we back. Uh, Maurice. Okay. Oh, welcome back. Welcome back. We're going to pray. See, they, 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 they cyber protect your phone. Yeah, they cyber protect my phone. Knowing the bad I would have just released a statement and said, we were not able to accommodate the delegates of the General Assembly. We apologize. We were not prepared for this many delegates for virtual General Assembly. At one time. However, at one time. we are working to right at one time, which I sent, and I have the text messages, and I'm not going to blast the Vice Chairman, but I sent the Vice Chairman and, and, and the Chairman both a text saying, hey, if we're going to do this, why not do it by regions, by time zone?" And it'll be efficient, just like the general election of the United States. Who's always the last state to call in? California. That could have been the last state to call in the election. But they did it like this, and it's backfired, and it's bringing. I'm not taking away from from Bishop Thuston them because they're not tech. They they weren't over the technology. However, they weren't over. They weren't over the technology. They were only doing what they were trying to figure out what people were selling them. But I feel that we dropped the ball. 
I'm saying I'm not going to. I feel like you're trying to make an excuse for him. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. No, I said, I said, I said we can't just blame. No, I'm saying we just can't blame them. We have to blame everybody that's involved. Yeah, I, I agree. I agree with that. What I'm going to say, Maurice, is this. And that is, we've been talking about an electronic election for a minute. They should have been. Doing I felt that we should have did it in April. However, there was other two felt we should have did it. But I, I knew virtually it wouldn't work. I knew that. Being a delegate, because we've had issues. We've had issues in the regular election with the machines. People had to, one year I put my ballot in, and they said I had put too many general, and I only put five men for the general board. But they said I did over 12. I ran for national office twice. I tell you what, they need to put me in. I national. ran in 2004. I ran in 2004 for secretary for the past and elders. I ran in 2008 for secretary of the past and elders. The first time I ran, uh, uh, it was told to me that we don't want to change the incumbency of the council. Plus, I was too young. Because I was just made 21. Hold on, y'all. Let me get my... Let me, <laughs> this is really horrible. My iPad about to die. <laughs> oh, oh Jesus. On, I, thought it was, I thought somebody was texting my phone. Mm -mm, that's mine. Hurry up, hurry up, because we don't need to be disconnected. You got to do better. Pray for me, Saints. Pray for me. Y'all can cash out me some money so I can go get some... Yeah, cash out some money. He got to pay his report, too, so help him out. He got to pay his report. His credentials coming up for Pray April. Much, he needs a blue and gold cash, card. Go ahead, half a day. Well, well send, me, send me, send me, send me a, make it, make it uh, 2000 because I need some for my foreign report. <laughs> no, but seriously, Maurice, like, I just feel like. Look, this cost, just to have this, this cost. With this ugly, with these pictures on. Uh, you should have come up your oh, number. Yeah. Yeah. Too late now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but you know, it, here's the thing, Maurice. It's like they put a lot of people in office and positions. They can't do nothing for them. They put a Somebody lot Somebody said congratulations on. Yeah, congratulations. On oh, thank you, James. Thank you, James. Congratulations. Y'all so ain't got me yet. Congratulations. That Tell Maurice, congratulations. Wait. He just got married. Yeah. Got a good wife, too. Got a good wife. I got being supportive. Somebody said, Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Bitch, <laughs> <laughs> boy, I got the shoes. <laughs> That's right, Tish. Let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. I have been pastoring. This is not the first time I pastored. I passed her before. But let me get back to, hold on, let me get back to the election. I ran again in 2008 for secretary for the Pastor Nelson Council. I only lost by 23 votes. That's because the mics went out when I gave my speech. And subsequently, the mics went off when I gave my speech. So I had to do a voice holler so the men in the back of the, you know, when Chairman Hutchins was chairman, we had thousands of pastors. So the men in the back, some of the men, from Illinois said they couldn't hear me, and other states said they couldn't hear me. So they thought I, was I wasn't running. So anyway, anyway, I had a poll watcher. And somebody also watched who I voted for, for the Pastor Elders Council. Because I, me, and, me and Hunch laugh, it ain't no secret, me and Hunch laugh about it. Hunch came to me and said, oh, I heard that uh, you didn't vote for me. I said, huh? You voted for Bishop Ron Gibson. Well, you voted for Ron Gibson. What's up, Prophet Wright? He said, you voted for Bishop Ron Gibson. Well, he wasn't Bishop then, Pastor Ron Gibson. I said, I sure did, because I felt that we should be a new dream team. Blah, blah, blah. He said, well, did you win secretary? <laughs> <laughs> I said, oh, no, I didn't. He said, there was a. So all along, they was watching and observing the candidacy and made sure I didn't win. I'm to it is a it's a it's a good old boys club. 
When it comes down to the positions in this church, it's a good old boys club. It's a good old boys club. And I mean, the sad part about it is to make things better, it's like you're going to have to get people. You, you're going to have to get people who may not be in your clique. Because some people do have the heart for the church. Like, I love the church. I just wish the church would be better. I wish the church would stop all the foolishness. That's my thing. Somebody said, why Hutchinson won't run for the... No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Right, he's not gonna run for that, and I can tell you, he he went, he may run in twenty. What doesn't happen? Okay. David said the church needs to be saved, period. Oh, you do. It's pretty much like you got to kiss up in this church. It's real bad. It's real bad. Hold on, y'all. I got a Bishop Porter. You make sure your shoes don't fall now. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Should I get this right? Just want to make sure your shoes stay right there. Ha 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 Mr. Boy, you make sure you stand. I see you standing on my shoulders. That's okay. No. Um, but no, y'all, like, um, I don't know what Maurice doing. He said his mic went out. Okay, he ain't back on here, but um, it is political. It is political, right? It is very much so political. It's very much so political. It is a good old boys club, and um, y'all, this church ain't gonna grow like this. It, it's we are losing people by leaps and bounds, and all we do is make fun of people because they don't look like us, sound like us, do like what we do, but everybody else is taking from us. Hold on, Maurice said he back. It's taking from us, and they're doing what you know what we do looking like us and it's it's sad I'm like i'm bad i'm sorry you got I'm so bad. many people okay you got so many people out here starting re off brand reformations in karen on and they they want it's they're implementing kojic stuff looking like the church of god in christ right that's why we're gonna be kojic new day with an old way right like we go if we don't do right we're gonna fade out we are gonna fade out, and somebody else is gonna pick us up. And I love our church. I like love our HW. church, but we're already faded. Cause full gospel do every almost do everything similar to us. The PAW don't start dressing like us. Even they done changed their bishopric attire. Uh, um, we've let down our standards. Let's keep it real. We've let down our standards, and other people are picking up the standards. We used to be called a holiness church. Somebody said they got a question. Who got a question? Uh, that is James. What's your question? Yeah, come on. Put your question on. I will entertain it. Morris, I just think I think the people just really don't. They don't want to change. They they like what it oh, is. And, and and I said this, you know, I did a um I did a uh video with Bishop White Whitehead because because we we were against the five year rule that they came up with. And am I frozen? No, you're good. 
okay, they came up with a five-year rule that you had to be a bishop for five years to run for general board. And I got calls and texts saying, from young preachers saying, hey, Clark, you should leave us alone, man, because uh, it's an old man's fight. But it I really look at is. it like this. But I look at it like this. The fathers are, are dropping off the scene. We are now becoming the old men that we once were talking about. Who's going to speak up? It's not, a, it's not a form of disrespect to voice your opinion. If we're men, we're men. But you, we respect the office, but you're not going to diminish who we are because of the office you hold. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, somebody said... There's a certain way uh, we can talk. James said, do you think if Bishop Patterson was still alive, he could have made some changes? Yeah. Which Patterson? Which Patterson? GE. Well, it was a lot of, well, we'll say it like this. You can only go as far as the General Assembly allows you to provide admission. Because 2002, at the Constitutional Convention in St. Louis, Missouri, the, the, um, the subject matter of women being ordained and given proper credentials for pastorship had came up. Bishop Patterson put together a committee. There were several women who were against the resolutions that were presented. Y'all fighting leadership over Church of God and Christ, not, but it's not the men who are fighting it. Like a lot of y'all women want positions, but it's women that's fighting who are, who are the same position. Right. I mean, but if that, it's that not goes, the men. you know, when they when they were talking about, you know, like in the in the actual government, like birth control and stuff like that, and women wanted to be able to you know, protect their own bodies. It was women fighting against it. So half the time, y'all be wanting stuff, but it's your own kind that fight against what you want. You want to position women? Well, it's your very own kind. It's the women that's fighting against y'all being in position. They like being subservient. And that's right. facts. But then they, listen, uh, one of my spiritual mothers, here in Chicago, a supervisor of first jurisdiction, which is one of the largest jurisdictions in the Church of God in Christ. Uh, it, it, it's relevant because they're in the, always in the top five in financial. First jurisdiction of Illinois, where Bishop Ford once was the founding bishop of. Pastor Shirley Hughes, chief of state supervisor. She built a church. She built a beautiful church here in Chicago. She has a great membership. But she would rather I, I've seen her. I know her. I observed her. She would. She never begged to sit in the pulpit with the men. She always sat with the women's department as assistant supervisor under the late mother Carrie Cantrell, under the late mother Charlotte Each, who she succeeded. But look at this. If you give her mic, she can out preach a lot of these men that's in the church. Absolutely. But Absolutely. I respect her. But listen, I respect her. And, and they just put her over a commission for women pastors in the women's department. They don't even know that there's a Mother Barbara McCoo and them have created a department in the women's department for women pastors. So it's getting ready to be some shaking up with women pastors. You, but you, we have to realize this, and I'm going to keep saying this, whoever the next presiding bishop is going to be is still subject to the authority, the Constitution, and the bylaws of the Church of God in Christ General Assembly. It's not a one-man show. They cannot just go out here and make uh, legal changes. They can't just go out here and make laws. They have to abide by the rules of the Constitution of the Church of God in Christ. They can appoint bishops. They can do uh, their various jobs. They have to know their job description. They know their job description is only limited by limited access. Now, they can make bishops with the approval of the general board. They can't just go out here and say, oh, Clark, you're going to be a bishop. Oh, Jobs, you're going to be a bishop. No, they got to go through the general board. Then they got to be brought to the general assembly. There's a process to this. So a lot of campaign promises are being made. Oh, we're going to do this. If we become leader, we're going to do that. It's not going to happen like that. Just like President Biden said that he was going to do all this stuff, it ain't going to happen. Just like now he just reneged on the student loan. They say, oh, I can't forgive 50000 but I can do 10000 Wait, wait, wait. Uh, tr uh, Tish, <clears throat> here's the thing. 
And I, somebody, uh, Maurice, now you said this. I'm glad. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Who is shut up with a Honda? What? You said, why didn't Bishop uh, Daniels implement this stuff in the national church? And I said to you, I said, Bishop Daniels' hands was tied. Bishop Daniels yeah, came to all the stuff in you. But but he had the influence. But he had the influence. Just like Bishop Wells had influence with Bishop Pastor. They had influence. They were able I'm talking about when I meant implementing, why didn't he help with the commit why didn't he, you know, oversee those committees, certain things? You see what I'm saying? That's what I meant by implementing. Maybe my choice of words was bad. But that's what I meant. Because I've seen I've been up there in Milwaukee firsthand. He's doing a magnificent mammoth job in Milwaukee. He is not just tall. But if you have the influence to do it, why couldn't you say, hey, Bishop Blake, hey, y'all, I feel like as general board members, we ought to overtake these projects and put a committee I think, together. I think the reason why he didn't worry about it is because he wanted to do it in his own church. Make sure he has his own thing because, again, when he gets ready to present it to the church, he says, hey, why don't we do X, Y, Z? Because here's the thing. As Memphis being our home, y'all make sure y'all share this live. Uh, as Memphis being our home, we should be seen heavily in Memphis. There should we be are. All we are. You know what we are? When we get to Memphis, we are seen heavily. The alcohol That's sales go up. Can we be real? This ain't what we. This ain't what we not talk. See, we not talking about what these people are saying about us. If I, I remember sitting in the general assembly, and and, a, and one of the strippers from one of the strip clubs came and brought back a bishop's card to the general assembly and said, "Oh, you left your card at the at the strip club." And it was right back catfish cabin. So somebody wasn't just going to get catfish and hush puppy. <laughs> oh, they was going to get some catfish. And, they was going to get some catfish and hush puppies. <laughs> you have to take a break. <laughs> but no, seriously, I just, that's just me. I just, um, and then, you know, for people talking about, oh, we're just making the church look bad. Babe, we ain't making the church look nothing. We ain't making the church look bad. The church, all churches, every church looks bad because everything goes on in the church and people want to be quiet. People want to hush, hush, sweep it up under the rug. Y'all, this, this folks is tired of that. Stop sweeping stuff. I'm Deal with it. Here. I'm going to say this, guys. Hold on, my wife was trying to call me. I got to tell her I'm on live because I got in trouble the other night for being on live praying. And my mother okay, well, if you need to go, listen, I'm going to end the live in a minute because I got to run to the stove. So go, I'm going to let you go. You're going to have the flow. But I'm going to say this. I'm going to say this. And I'm going to get off and call her back. But we don't want to talk about the real issues that the church has. It's just like going to a local church and saying, oh, baby, Deacon such and such, we know the pastor raped Deacon, raped sister such and such, and I had a baby. Uh, 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 one of the bishops just died. One of the bishops that just died, his own sister said, and I didn't even know this till yesterday, as they were burying him, as they were funeralizing him, his sister said that he had a child out of wedlock and, and his brother's wife, and her brother's wife told her that if you continue to have a relationship with your niece, then you can't have a relationship with your brother. I'll share it to your inbox. You will be shocked. Well, to, to add insult to that, there is a young man. Um, he's in my inbox, and he said his dad raped all 11 of his daughters, almost all 11 of his daughters. And he was in somebody, I ain't gonna say who it was. He was in somebody's northern jurisdiction and because, now this was before that person took over though, but he was in that jurisdiction. He was a deacon in the jurisdiction. 
and nobody ever said anything. But they knew I'm what was going on. They, these men that's crying out retirement plan, retirement plan for pastors, we need to have a retirement and age limit for bishops too. Because I think at a certain age, if they make me a bishop, and I'm saying this, I know people don't say what they got to say. Y'all go jump. If they make me bishop of Sierra Leone, West Africa, in any time frame, I plan on, by the time I'm 60, to retire from that position and move on with my life and go enjoy vacations with my wife. I'm going to do that anyway and enjoy life. But I feel that the service of the church should be limited. We shouldn't die scraping. And then when we're dead and gone, our churches have to pay. The church have to pay for the burial. The church have to pay for the funerals. So the pastor don't have no insurance. The pastor don't have this. The bishop don't have this. A well-known evangelist died a few years ago. Traveled all across the country. His pastor was a bishop. I mean, he was on the main front. He stood with, he was at prayer every day. He was a national evangelist. At his funeral, at his funeral, his pastor, who's a bishop, who he would raise the offering for it and things like that, his pastor got up at the funeral and raised the offering to bury his member. And his okay, pastor, so Tish, okay, they, we, we get ready to go. Also had a funeral home. But Tish, Paying reports, that's just like paying taxes. That's what right. pay, I mean, you paying reports is paying taxes in the church. Roger said retirement doesn't mean stop. I didn't say stop. I said let somebody else take over the work. Okay, so I got a question. Sam, I should let you jump your butt on, but I, Yeah, he can on. jump in because I couldn't jump off. Come on, Prophet okay. Long, Apostle Long. Come on, Sam. Come on, Sam. Uh, Maurice finna get off because I'm finna go to the stove now. Come on, that. All right, Maurice. I want to ask Maurice a question so bad. I want to ask Maurice a question so bad. I just, y'all, <laughs> I would be no good after asking that question. Oh, uh, um, I just, y'all, I'm serious. I just feel like. Oh, you in school? Okay. Um. <laughs> hey, Taze. Y'all, this Bishop Paul. This Bishop, Bishop still on my shoulders, I'm trying to tell you. Bishop still on my shoulders, I'm telling you. He got a good support system. Mm -hmm. He got a great support system. I'm right here. Uh -oh. I'll be out in a minute. Um, so... I just feel like um, at some point, at some point, um, Sam, that if we don't change this stuff from being what it is, if we don't, if we don't change this stuff from being what it is, like we gonna miss a whole juncture. Do y'all not realize that this church was built because, especially the Church of God in Christ, it was built on the backs of the women. Now don't don't make me just talk about the gays too, but it was built on the backs of the women and the gays. The gays been working in this church for out visibly and invisibly. Like the gays been married to women, all kind of stuff. But that that's that's not the focus right now. You don't want to put women in position, but it's been the women that's been carrying this church, huh? The women have been carrying this church. Port, am I right? Okay, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> and y'all want to stop. Oh! David, don't do that. Don't do that, David. Because <laughs> there's a whole story behind that. Oh, we. But no, seriously. Um. The church has been built on that and we need to stop acting like we need to stop acting like you know it's a man's world 
it may be a man's world, but it's nothing without a woman and the gays meet. Seriously, you wouldn't be where you are. And y'all act like women supposed to be subservient. And let me tell y'all, let me tell y'all women something. Let me tell y'all women something. At the end of the day, while y'all kicking against the fact that you don't want women in position, you are dumb. And I'm going to say it how I want to say it. Y'all are dumb as hell. How the heck y'all sit up by him, work so hard in the church and in these positions and can on, and then you don't want to sit up by here and be acknowledged as a pastor. You could be a pastor all day and still acknowledge a bishop. Because truth be told, if the king died, the woman, the, the, the queen is still recognized as queen, and she still holds power. What is it that y'all don't understand in the church? Y'all try to run the church just like a monarchy and carry on, but then y'all try to act dumb and stupid. Am I right? Am I, am I right? I'm just, I'm trying to tell you, like, am I right? <laughs> oh! I'm trying to... <laughs> <Poor Emma. laughs> I'm just saying. So anyways... <laughs> I'm just Bishop, Bishop, Bishop. Am I right? You gonna talk to the people? You gonna talk to the people? You gonna you gonna talk to them? <laughs> 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 oh, I think Linwood is. <laughs> I think Linwood is a great guy. I mean, I don't know about him being presiding, but I mean, I think Bishop Linwood. Everybody want to be the presiding bishop, but y'all, some of y'all don't need to be the presiding bishop. Okay? Everybody don't need to be a presiding bishop. Some of y'all just need to just serve. Period. Am I right? Bishop, Bishop Ward, you want to be the PB, don't you? I guess that was no. <laughs> ah! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I'm going to put you back up here. Okay. Everybody want to be the presider. Everybody want to be want to be the presider. Some of y'all just need to serve. That, yeah, right. That's a whole other story. Some of y'all just need to just serve. Let it be what's going to be. Hey, Mike. Period. Hey, Michelle. Anyways. Y'all trying to sit up here and beat, listen here, why don't, you know what, I got something for y'all. Bitch, what are you tell me from right now? <laughs> y'all tell me if I'm right or wrong. All y'all bishops in Memphis, y'all are going to die, and your legacies are going to be null and void. You're just going to be remembered as that preacher. Why is it that y'all can't establish something that's really going to make a momentous uh, steeple in the, in, the, in the community? What is y'all problem? I don't understand, y'all. Like, seriously. This church is a joke. It's a storefront joke. We could be doing so much more, but we up here arguing over positions. And on that note, me and Bishop Porter, we're going to go. All right? Bye, y'all. Bishop, say bye.